I'm doing my thing. Doing my All thing. Right. All right, welcome everyone to Galaxy. Wait, wait, twenty minute chats with Galaxy Boy. There we fuck go. it up here and there, <laughs> but um, man, I feel like I've been doing an interview in a second. But to you guys, I, I post them every Monday. <laughs> but I got another special guest in here, my boy Big Tone. Make your moan. That's me. Straight from the top in this area, um, representing the five hundred nine. Don't get it twisted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we had him on for an uh, interview with, what was it? What did I call it? I think it was just Galaxy Boy one-on-one. And we got to go in depth. and you know, Yeah, get, with, my, my, with my brother, too. Yeah, that was Yeah, sick. with Marcus. But uh, how you doing, my dude? I'm doing good, man. I'm over here. Just... I'm just trying to make sure the microphone's not in your face. No, no, you're cool. I'll, I'll, I'll move it. Anyways, I'm doing good, man. You know, I'm enjoying Welcome, life. Bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, enjoying life, you know, trying to just, uh, figure things out right now, you know, as far as like balancing work and, uh, you know, my, my hobbies and, you know, just kind of figure out my dreams and stuff and where I'm going. And so, yeah, man. No, um, you, you know, like you're starting to dabble into auto tune and, Mm -hmm. you know, you just played me a couple of tracks with you and David, even David got to auto tune. Yeah. Um, yeah. What made you start dabbling in the auto tune? I mean, like no one just wakes up and they're like, "All right, let me just you know put some <laughs> fucking crazy shit on my voice." So to be honest, I um, I've always loved like like Tory Lanez and like Chris Brown and like a lot of like dudes who like sing, but they use auto tune over their singing vocals. You know, like mm-hmm. they can sing in real life, but they still sound do- pretty hard with some auto tune. Yeah, and so I've always was like, "Fuck, like." I just love the way auto tune sounds and how like it can just make somebody who doesn't have a very great voice mm. have one. And um yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Um what 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 uh what would you say to people who like, you know, I feel like we're we're past the the taboo of using auto tune at this point, but uh, some people are still about that. They're like, "Oh man, how dare you use auto tune? You use your fucking natural voice." And yeah. Shit. What would you say all that? Honestly, I just say just do what feels right. Like honestly, like me personally, I like especially with like you know even like people I know like even like like I'll show like my music to like my mom or my brother, and um like they'll be like, "Oh, you know, it's like too much auto tune." But like for me, I'm like. That's what I'm like. Like the same people they're listening to on the radio has, yeah. you know, the crazy amount of auto tune more than I do, but they like that because they don't know what their natural voice sounds like. So it's like they want to hear my natural voice because they know me, but like me personally, I want to sound like who they listen to. So I'm like, that's that's kind of what I wanna wanna do. So I I just say just do what feels right. If you think it sounds great the way it does um you know what i mean you can ask people for your opinion but at the end of the day it's like it's all up to you whether you want to do it or not you know and so um that's kind of like what where i've you know been like kind of having the like the tug and pull you know with with yeah, about to ask you, the whole there's a tug and pull all right you know they're telling me something do i listen yeah you know, kind of like in your head yeah honestly i mean like there's some points where like People will, like, tell me, like, oh, you know, like, the hook is great or whatever that I'm singing (laughs) is great, but just, you know, just throw a little auto-tune off or take a little auto-tune off and I'll listen to it, you know what I mean? I'll figure out a balance, but, like, there's just some people who are just like, yeah, I don't like it because of the auto-tune, and I'm just like, well, I do, you know, it's my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like, my name is on this, not yours, you know what I mean? So get it. Yeah, and so, I mean... I do appreciate the opinions, though. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Flies up in those I, you love them. They have they have all this room to land somewhere, but they want to land on your fucking face, bro. I fucking <laughs> before I left my house, I fucking sprayed this shit crazy. Like you know, if I was in here, I'd probably be dead. Fuck. <laughs> and I come in here, these motherfuckers are still living here. Yeah, bro. No cap. I got flies. like two roommates here now. <laughs> no cap. Uh, no. <laughs> Landlord's like, hey, I got. I gotta, I gotta boost the rent a little bit. I no. saw, saw you got like a whole family here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like me, like dabbling in auto tune definitely was just like based off of 
my own music taste because like a lot of people you know like they assume that okay i rap i just listen to straight rappers with bars and i mean i do like that stuff sometimes but like me personally like i feel like low-key i'm like uh like an R and B artist, you know what I mean? Because I sick though. You have yeah. to have that confidence within yourself to try something new, right? And that's and stand like out. The last two songs that I put out, that was something that was totally out of my comfort zone, and it was like like with singing, with the auto tune, and everything. Even like the beat choice was like completely different than what I like usually would do. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I did it, and I got a lot of good feedback on it, and it was it was pretty cool. Um, and I think that, like, it also kind of stems from, uh, so, like, a lot of people don't know this, but the first album I ever received, like, as a gift or whatever, mm. was T-Pain's first album, Jeez, Robert, Robert Turner Singer. And um, ever since then, like, I've always been in love with that auto-tune sound, because I've always loved the way T-Pain sounds with it. He, you know what I mean? Like, he is, like, They the, still slap to this day. No, exactly. And, uh, and also, like, you know, he inspired a lot of, the people who use it now, you know what I mean? Like, I remember I was watching this documentary and he was just trying to figure out a way to use the auto tune because I think like Cher, Cher used auto tune on like this one song. Um, was it like they do you believe in? The mm -hmm. the, she used auto tune on that song. No shit. Yeah, and nobody like like in the industry even said that they use auto tune because mm -hmm. the guy who made it, it was like kind of taboo to use it. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. So, um. T Pain figured it out. He finally found a plugin of what the auto tune was, and it was by that guy that on Terrace, the one who mm. you know makes auto tune now. And um, yeah, he he built the whole thing, and like that's how auto tune came into hip hop was basically through T Pain. And it was like like then Kanye West and Lil Wayne and like you know every other artist that kind of stemmed from them after. And it's just like man, that's just that's that shit's crazy. And and I think about it, and I'm like, damn, like. I got his first album, you know what I mean? And that's what also what inspired me. And so um, I still listen to T-Pain to this day. Like, even with everything, like, even if he doesn't have any, like, top charter songs, like, I'm still, like, thumbing through what he's doing, you know what I mean? So it's pretty Isn't that crazy? Just, like, you don't know it as a kid or as a, a youngster when you're buying these albums and music that how much it affects you and... Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you did the, decide to dabble in the music, um, just where your styles come from, you know? Yeah, because honestly, like, the people that you listen to, like, obviously they shape you into who you are. You know what I mean? Like, not oh, necessarily like the, yeah, not necessarily like the, um, like the, the normal listeners, but like the people who want to make music, mm. like, those are the people that like, you know what I mean? It really shapes the artists they become. And, um, I mean, you can hear it with anybody. You can hear, like, like Dave. Dave is heavily inspired by, you know, like, Kendrick and, and Logic and a lot of, like, the lyrical art. You can tell. You can tell he's inspired by that, like, an East Coast type of, like, storytelling. And, um, you know, there's a few other people that you can just kind of figure out who who they listen to or, you know. And me, like, I, I listen to Drake, obviously. I'm a big Drake fan. So, like, that's kind of how, you know, I got You should have worn Drake shirt today, bro. I should have, huh? No cap. Yeah, I should have. I I have an OVO OVO t shirt too. But next yeah. time, next time. Um, no, dude. Um, we were just having this conversation with uh, Dark World, uh, whose podcast is about to drop pretty soon, and it's just about staying now and doing something different. And you know, you know, Dark World's just crazy, like different. You know, he started out doing rap, and now he's doing this whole rock punk shit. Mm. And I think you should like dive head first into this motherfucker and just don't give a fuck what anyone says. And just make that auto tune fucking album. Exactly. And I think I think this is a dope blame for you, and it's because no, who, I don't really know a lot of people doing auto tune right now, other than Creos. Yeah, like Creo, like Creos is doing really, really dope shit with the auto tune. Um, I know like Six Mag, Six Mag, oh, yeah, he's, he's doing his thing. Um, but I think that also like I like because they started off like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like me, I'm coming from like people hearing me rap mm. and they already know i rap you know what i mean i don't want to like you know suck my own dick or nothing but yeah like they they you know they tell me that i rap good and that i have you know like that i'm decent like you're ready uh, not to say you perfected this this style but i was already in a lane mm. i was already in another lane and i'm trying to switch lanes or i don't want to say switch but i'm trying to you know what i mean go Step back in and, a different lane yeah go back and forth between lanes and it's like 
you know, like some people are going to receive it well. Some people aren't just like with anything mm. that, you know, like they're what not changed? familiar. No. Right. Exactly. You stay the same. And so um, I think that it's a little more difficult for me because I've already had like those people that that's been following me, you know, since I first started rapping. Mm. And then, you know, they hear me like, oh, shit, now he's singing. You know what I mean? Like this motherfucker. No, nah, but I mean, I haven't heard anything bad like that yet. But like, you know, I kind of. Do you kind of feel it like under your, you know. A little bit, like, I can, like, see it happening, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, I can, like, see, like, oh, shit, you know what I mean? Like, why are you only putting out this, or why are you, you know what I mean? So, I, I'm still trying to, like, bounce back and forth, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so, but, like... I say fuck that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say, I yeah. say, you know... Because cause there's a few songs that, like, Dave wants me on, or, like, anybody else mm -hmm. wants me on, where, like, of course, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna you rap, gonna rap yeah. you know what I mean? But, like... The songs that I want to make that are, like, going to be dolo or whatever, mm -hmm. like, I feel like it's going to be, like, with auto-tune hook or, mm -hmm. you know, either either or, so. No, you got to be versatile. You got to be able to shift fucking styles. And um, I, 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 you, we, can, we can get caught up on people's opinions like crazy because we're trying something new. In our heads, we're, like, we're not really big and professional, but, you know, at the same, thing, at the same time, you know, you, we criticize ourselves. We beat mm -hmm. ourselves down like crazy. No one's talking shit to you. No one. No one's talking shit to you. But like, it's you and it's head. you. Yeah, you. De you. You definitely are your biggest critic, and that's like, like a hundred percent true. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of times where like I've had songs where like I just didn't like, or you know, or mm -hmm. that I just like. Especially even like, there's some people who send me songs that me personally I don't like, but they ran so up the plays. Yeah, and so, but I'm just like, dang, that's crazy how, like, that shit worked, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so, um, I just think that, like, once you believe in yourself, like, there's nobody that can stop you, you know what I mean? Like, like you're, you, you're your biggest supporter, you're also your biggest critic, but, like, people can, people can tell if you believe in yourself or if you doubt yourself. Well, you carry yourself. Exactly. And so, like, if you put your shit out and you're like, all right, this is the hardest shit I ever put out. <laughs> You know what I mean? People you gotta gonna, think like that. People are gonna believe that. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's it's all about it's all about selling yourself almost in a way. Like, all, it always is. Yeah. And so, um, as far as auto tune, right. auto tune's gonna stay. I'm gonna be doing my thing. So like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> That's good. Though. But I love all y'all though. No cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press like on the button. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go follow me. <laughs> but um. Are you working on an album? Are you uh, are you just releasing singles right now? Um, I was working on an album, so I I, I had this idea back in high school mm. where I was gonna release an album called Sound, and it was gonna be like a bunch of different styles that I like. Um, but like I was like planning on releasing it this year because I had a lot of time like throughout the pandemic and stuff to like mm. really kind of like make a lot of music. But um, I feel like I haven't really, like, perfected it for me, like, as far as, like, the auto-tune side yeah. to really even put out something as far as, like, a project under my name. Um, so, like, right now I'm not I'm not working on no albums. Actually, the, I think me, me, Dave, and Verbos are working on a... On a oh, you got to hear first. You got to hear first. Yeah, a, tri a triple threat album. Sheesh. Yeah, so it's going to be a bunch gonna of... Be hard. Facts. It's going to be a bunch of stuff like, um, like there might be a song with like all three of us. There might be a song with just like Dave and Verbos. There and might be a song. Person. Yeah. Like just me and Verbos or me and Dave. But it's like, it's a and collaboration so, of where, where you guys are present. You guys are bringing yep. the energy and kind mm -hmm. of shaping the album. And so that's kind of, um, me and Dave actually just thought of it like last week because Dave came over to my house and we we're like, we should just like put all the songs that we have with Verbos and just make it all. You know what I mean? Because me and Dave were talking about how like people really fuck with me and Dave on songs together. No, but yeah, yeah, they're like he tells me like I, a lot of people tell him that me and him have hella good chemistry, cool. and um, like. We just want to keep the energy, and we're like, "Yo, what if me and Dave become like a like the the big nigga group?" You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they should. I told Dave, I was like, "We should name our rap group like Big and Delicious or something." <laughs> <Big> and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so because we've always would call each other that, just because like we always would hang out. We're obviously we're bigger guys, so you know we'd be like, "Yo, we're big, we're big and delicious." You know what I mean? And so it's just like that'd be kind of that'd be kind of hard, you know, to be like a like a little rap group. You know what I mean? Get the fucking. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I, without a doubt, 
You should start with. with we're gonna we're gonna be, we're gonna be like Red Ray Shremmer. Yeah, but, you should, yeah, you that'd you be kind of hard. No cap. Just you know, I I think you guys should do that, man. Like just separate set uh, a separate distro you know account with yeah. another thing and start it man actually uh on my distro account i have the label oh the label I, i'm paying one? for oh, the so label perfect yeah so i already have like the the dave and big tone like separate mm-hmm. artist page mm-hmm. as well as like i think i have one with me and am and then i'm gonna have a third one with me uh dave and verbos so mm-hmm. we can release the album under all of our names and not have to worry about you know it just being under one or yeah your know, features or whatever we can just you know just put it out as a collective and not have to worry about uh you know whose page is going on or any I, other I bullshit like that yeah. yeah so um i'm excited for that yeah man. big things coming up i don't even know what the name of it's gonna be yet or how many tracks about it. yeah and so but you know we do have like a good solid probably like seven eight tracks already done you know what I mean? Between all of us. That's a good start. Yeah. Like, I have, like, I have, like, four or five songs with, with Verbos alone. Um, I, I know Dave has, like, probably, like, two or three. And then, um, like, all together. Like, me and Dave have, like, a few together already. And so, mm. it's going to be dope, though. Trust me. Yeah, no. You just played one of the tracks. And I was like, damn. That's oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I played, yeah. That's just hard. Um, what's going on with Messing Room? You guys, you guys, uh, what are the plans there? Are you guys, because... Uh, could have swore there was like an album going on or something. Yeah, so uh, right now we're working on, I think it's Messy Room Sessions three. Mm. Cause I don't think I think they already put out. Or it's either Messy Room Sessions two or three. I think it's two. I think it's two. Mm. Yeah, because I know they came out with one already, but I wasn't I'm, I wasn't sure if they came out with a second one. Mm. But um, yeah, so we're we're planning on on doing that. So like Johanny and and Rex are just sending us beats. Man, and that, um, that must be sick. Yeah, so they're just sending us beats, and we're just trying to get them all done. But it's kind of you know like everybody has lives, everybody has you know it's hard scheduling. It's hard scheduling, and so and honestly, I would love to like get together in like a studio session mm-hmm. and like have all of us there so we can all just vibe and just figure out the whole vibe of the album. Yeah, you know, have a little like, so like just like one person comes in and then yeah, or or another. just or just submitting songs that are by ourselves. You know what I mean? And just being like, okay, I made this in my room, and you know, here you go. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Or whoever wants to hop on it, hop on it. Like I want us to like really like dive in, like just to, like pick a day. And then just like like a pick a day like ahead of time or like maybe even a weekend and just ask for those days off or whatever and just fucking get it done because I feel like you know what I mean like the most the the greatest music like that you can make is always like amongst your peers mm-hmm. and you know like obviously you're you get inspired just by standing next to somebody you know and so or hearing something that they play or you know coming up with different flows and stuff like. We're all, you know, we're all in this together, and it's all to support our end goal, and it's to get this Messy Room Sessions, you know, um, album done. And so, um, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, or maybe I gotta sit down and talk to him about it. But yeah, like I, I want to, I want to do that. But the the second song I showed you mm. with me and Dave, that's for Messy Room Sessions. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah so we're trying to figure out who's gonna be on the the second verse. Hey. But yeah, and so, um, and I don't, I, I don't think you know. But uh, the Verbos and mm. uh, and um, uh, his friend Frankie, mm. um, they're part. They they have a little label called ETG, oh, and shit. yeah, they have a little little label called uh, uh, ETG. And I guess they're like a like a branch of Messy Room now. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, we we locked it in with with uh, with Verbos and them. So I mean, like it, it makes sense you, you, mm-hmm. when you're collaborating. You know always around yeah it only makes sense to like hey you want to just be a part of the crew facts and shout out frankie i met him a couple weeks ago at hoops for the first time <laughs> the best place to meet people <laughs> yo always at hoops <laughs> come see me every monday and thursday i'll be there hey no um no i'm i'm, I'm excited I, no messy rooms is dope messy rooms dope and the fact you guys are still like you know um together and you know, building a great relationship with it with each other. <laughs> you know, it's hard to do. It's fucking hard to do. Facts. Yeah, and so um, we're just you know focusing on getting it done and big things. Big things are coming. Oh, also, I think we are working on getting some shows nice, as bro. well. Yeah, we wanna we wanna do some shows, and so um, 
I mean, we'll probably we'll probably start slaying tickets for them shows once we get them locked in, and uh, yeah, like I hope hope you know the the valley can come see us and everything. Uh, uh, me and AG were going on a bike ride. We coming back and we see this big ass stage. Like someone set up a like a Mexican house. They set up a fucking big ass stage in their front yard. And I was mm-hmm. like, damn, but there was no one there. But I was like, damn, they made that shit fucking popping. I was like, and then it made us just a fucking light bulb just hit our head. I mean, we always talk about it, but like making our own show. Yeah, know? that'd be cool. That ass. Yeah, that'd be. Honestly, I, like I, I think me and Dave have had this conversation before about like even like fucking. Doing like a pop up show out of the back of a fucking tr- a pickup. We can get we can get heads like crazy. No cap, yeah, just like just time and place. Everybody meet there, you know what I mean. Just have like a good you know a good sized speaker or something, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. And we can just do it. That'd be I mean honestly that'd be super cool. And I you know I'd hope that the community would come and support. You know what I mean. And it's just like a two week notice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just something, just like a little. And everyone promoting it. Um, yeah, me and me and AJ were talking about. It. I was like, bro. I was like, it's easy. It's easy as fuck. I was mm-hmm. like, we get big tone, Dave, and like, I, I, like the fact is, I know so many people, and everyone's so cool with each other that it would be no sweat. Yeah, like that ass. Like, and we all like, especially our age group. Our age group, like, um, like of the rappers that are coming mm-hmm. out of the valley, mm-hmm. were like really like in connection with each other like we communicate with each other and talk to each other mm. and so it's like you know we don't have no um what are the words like uh like borders with each other no where borders. we're yeah so um you know anything that we want to do i'm pretty sure anybody would be in so it's just we like, need to do it bro no cap we, we should we should plan it out i'm down i'm yeah. down yeah um, got you i gotta figure out how to rent a speaker and we're, we're gonna plant the seed on this mm-hmm. and I want to get it done. It's it's so easy, and I, the fact we haven't done it before, it's 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 un, unspeakable. <laughs> but sensational. Sensational. <laughs> you see, Shout out Esco. <laughs> <laughs> you should should have been here uh, with Earth One. Uh, you know, he was like ASMR and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw, yeah. Fucking had me in here, man. It, it, it was nice to have him over here, man. I yeah, I, I haven't seen him in a minute, um, just because of scheduling, but. Yeah, that's my that's my guy for real. Yeah, and yeah, me me and him lived. I don't know if you knew that, but when we went to Seattle. Mm. Me and him lived together for like I think like six six or seven months. Damn. Yeah. That's bonding. So, yeah. <laughs> so like, you know, we we'd cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Just, I wonder who was a spoon. <laughs> nobody was a spoon. We were just shoulder to shoulder. Imagine <laughs> in a twin bed. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, crazy! Um, no, nah, but yeah, that, that's my brother for real. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Earth One. Shout out. But um, I think that's good, man. I think I think, I think we have to go place to wrap up. You know, like just get, getting the community together for a fucking show because we need to do this. It's it's easy. I don't see why not. Everyone got their own fan base, and then I wouldn't mind hosting it too. I'd be I'd be I'd be a great host. DJ and, Galaxy Boy. So. Yeah, honestly, I can see you as like a. I'm doing my thing. 